Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Your dog was enjoying the snow. Not that unusual. I know what you're thinking. Really, uh, March and April, some of the heaviest snow actually occurs out here in Wyoming and Colorado. So this is not that unusual. Denver, by the way, in downtown might see another snow shower to the snow video that we're showing you, as we mentioned, is really in the higher elevations southwest and west of Denver and up and through Wyoming. And even some snow here, as you can see in southwestern part of North Dakota over and into Montana. So this is where the snow in the higher elevations west of Denver. Denver could see, as I mentioned, a snow shower or two off and on over the next day or two, but really that's about it, even mixed with some rain. So it's really to the west and southwest of Denver in the higher elevations where they're going to continue to see off and on snow with this storm system sitting out here in the middle part of the country. It's where the storm watch continues for southern Texas. More showers now developing to the west. And they had heavy rain. We showed you the flooding problems in Houston that they're getting. And here comes more rain, for, unfortunately, for Houston as we go through uh, later tonight and during the day tomorrow. For us, high pressure dominates our weather. It's keeping that storm system out to our west. And because the high at the surface and especially in the upper atmosphere is stuck, we've got very little movement in the air. So we have no mixing. And that's the reason we're having an air quality alert in the upstate, just stagnant air. It goes until 9 o'clock this evening. But then it's going to be reissued again tomorrow from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. tomorrow in the upstate. So if you have asthma, you might want to stay inside in, in the air conditioning because we have very dry air in place, a lot of pollution. And besides that, we also have the pollen, which is extremely high, especially if you take all four categories and add them up in the very high category. Trees are in the high category, grasses and mold in the moderate category, and weeds are in the low category. Official high today was 84 degrees this afternoon. That's what's nice. How about that? 11 degrees above the average this time of the year. Missed the record by 5 degrees. 89 degrees, the record on the state, set back not too far in 2002. 81 was the high this afternoon at the Asheville Regional Airport, way above the average, as you can see, for this time of the year. We're normally we should be in the upper 60s and 9 degrees away from the record high. This has been around for a long time, and I can see why. 90 degrees set back in 1896. Live shot in downtown Spartanburg right now. Plenty of sunshine, a beautiful Monday evening. Currently 82 degrees in Spartanburg. It's 82 in Greenwood, 87 in Elberton, 82 in Tacoa. Still 80 in Hendersonville, also in Asheville, 76 in Boom. A little bit of a breeze out of the southeast. We're trying to pump up some moisture off the Atlantic Ocean, but having a difficult time doing that. Look at these humidity levels, incredibly low. Only 15% in downtown Greenville. 83 in Columbia, 70s along the beaches. A little bit of a sea breeze keeping the temperatures down a little bit. High pressure tomorrow morning, making for a chilly day. It's going to slide off to our south, so another warm afternoon for us. This front is going to push through tomorrow night, this backdoor front. No precipitation, but it's going to cool us down a little bit. And then we wait for the system out in the plain states to come in, but not until the end of the week. So tonight, clear skies and very cool, low 51 degrees, but not as cold over the weekend as we were over this weekend. For tomorrow in the greenville sparnberg Anderson area, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Another warm afternoon. High 84, I'm forecasting, will start off at 66, quickly warming up to 82 degrees at lunchtime. Asheville, Henderson Valley for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies and very mild. High 79 degrees, starting off at 58 degrees, warming up into the mid-70s by lunch. Not bad. Then not as warm as you can see cooler with that northeasterly wind on Wednesday. And then that system out in the plains comes in. The best chance of showers will be on Thursday night into Friday. Good timing, though. Upcoming weekend looks good.